Well, welcome fire signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message. Weekend commencing Friday the 12th of February through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us fire signs. Okay, so for your crowning message, we have Aphrodite, romantic love, and we have Mayat, truth. Okay, so Aphrodite and Mayat is coming in as alleys towards you, um, Aries, this weekend. And I feel as though with romantic love, um, this is all about self-love, a deepening of an existing love, um, uh, existence of a new love perhaps coming um, towards you this weekend. And I feel as though with Mayat and Truth, this is all about um, being authentic, truthful. So whatever is coming towards you this weekend with regards to love, I feel as though it's something that is going to be heartfelt. It's going to be true. It's going to be authentic. Um, I know that we are approaching Valentine's Day. Um, so uh, fire signs, I feel as though whoever is in your energy space this weekend is going to be really beautiful. I feel as though that deepening of understanding, uh, romantic love, um, love for self, love for life. Um, also, Aries, you may have um, gone through a period of um, speaking some sort of truth, um, being authentic, being real. Um, and this could be to do with work. It could be to do with uh, family, um, your life purpose and life journey. And I feel as though as you've done that, it's like you have this beautiful energy of Aphrodite coming in towards you, just letting you know that, you know, love for life is is great. It's fabulous. And it's definitely um, around your energy space this weekend. Fire signs. Beautiful. OK, so for your crowning wisdom message. We have the Star Daughters dance. I dance, sing and play with my sisters at sunset. And then we have the winged messenger creation. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. And do you know something, Fire Signs? I, these two cards for your wisdom that's coming in couldn't be more apt for your crowning message. With the uh, Star Daughters, you're being invited with the wisdom to know that you've gone through some sort of transformation and it truly is a time to sing, to dance, to celebrate, to reach out to your soul tribe members that are on the same wavelength as you and to just celebrate. And with the winged messenger creation, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. Um, fire signs, those of you that are creative um, um, artists, so whether you're musicians, writers, singers, anything creative, anything that... Um, that you associate as creative. Um, I feel as though this weekend, it's as though you're going, you've got to be going with the flow of that creativity. And I feel that the wisdom coming here is just let go, let go and allow um, divine spirit universe to just work in you, through you and around you with those creative um, juices that's coming through. Beautiful weekend, I feel, um, for you, um, fire signs and evidently whatever it is you are if you are a creative person I feel that whatever you're going to be creating is going to be something that is really heartfelt um that is authentic that's truthful and I feel as though it's something that is just going to heighten that that love for life really really beautiful okay fire signs if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video uh returning subscribers thank you so much for um coming back i hope you get something valuable out of this message also thank you so much for your support your donations it truly is encouraging thank you 
Those of you that are new to the channel, if you would, um, welcome. Uh, if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please go ahead and click that subscription button. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmate of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 12th of February through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries, Leo and Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's focus on Aries first of all. Okay. My angels and spirit guides. Oh, okay. Has that that's too many that's come out. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I was I wasn't sure whether or not we were gonna they were gonna choose three cards or two cards this weekend, but evidently three. So Aries, we have the eight of swords, the two of wands, and the seven of pentacles. Okay. And for our beautiful Leos, please, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 12th of February through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. What is their current energies? Thank you. Wow, Leo, you're popping up. We have our strength card. Two more, please. Thank you. We have, oh, we have Hierophant. Oh, somebody pop in the question to you. Um, Leos, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Oh, okay. Well, they're saying to me to take it. So you've got an extra card. There must be a reason behind that. So We've got the Hierophant, we've got the Six of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups, okay? And then for our beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Cups, whoops, okay? We have Temperance, and we have the Tower, okay? All right, so let's just pop that there. Um, we're going to pop Sagittarius up here. And we're going to pop our Leos just along here. All right. Okay. Let's just fix this so that they don't fall. Whoopsie daisy. And as she says it, that's exactly what happens. They do fall. All right. These. All right. We can see them all yet. All right, fabulous. Okay, Aries. Okay, whoever you are connecting with this weekend, I feel as though um, they they might be coming out of um, mental torture around this connection with you. Um, or trying to, because I feel as though um, neither one of you are not quite sure what direction to take um, with this with this relationship, I would say. With the Seven of Pentacles, Aries, I feel as though you've put a lot of work into this connection. But for whatever reason, your basket is empty and you're almost kind of looking at it, looking at this a tree that has been nurtured and grown and is ready, ripe for picking. And it's almost as if you're looking at it like, mm, do I pick? Do is this? Am I? Are they ready to be picked? Um, do I need to start again? It's almost as though um, I feel Aries that you and the person that you're connecting with are not quite sure what direction um, this relationship is going. However, if we look at your crowning um, message cards, I feel as though Aries, um, you're being encouraged, I feel, um, to know that there's probably some sort of truth that may come out that may um, take this person out of mental torture, over analysing the connection. Um, and I feel as though it's, it's almost as if it's highlighting this beautiful energy of Aphrodite coming in, um, romantic love. I feel as though there is a lot of love between the two of you. 
but there's perhaps maybe some truth that needs to be spoken. Um, you certainly feel as though you've put a lot of work into this connection, but that basket is empty. And I feel as though there's going to be something that is going to be celebrated. So whether or not you both are going to kind of come together because you're both at a crossroads. Um, let's have a look and see what the clarifiers say. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you clarify how does the soulmates of Aries Sun Moon Rising? Thank you. OK, that's their energy coming in as the king of wands, male or female. It doesn't matter. We have temperance. So you could be dealing with somebody that's got Sagittarius in their chart. Thank you. One's just falling on the floor. And it is the seven of cups. Yeah, choices. And we have the queen of swords. I feel that's your energy. And wow, we've got the King of Swords. Yeah, you th you see this person as your divine counterpart, Aries. And just one more, thank you. And look at that, we've got the Three of Wands, you're waiting. All right, yeah, waiting. All right, Aries, I feel as though whoever you are connecting to, okay, I feel as though they are in some sort of mental torture, or they have been. And I feel as though their energy with that King of Wands, can we see all those cards, okay? I think we can. Let's just pop this up here. Sorry, any um, uh, fire signs. You're my first elemental for the weekend. So I'm just positioning all my cards. OK, perfect. With this king of wands, I feel as though this person is quite um, passionate towards you. Um, somebody that's actually quite creative. So their creative juices may be um, flowing this weekend, maybe having things, looking at things from a different perspective. That's why I, I was picking up that they're breaking out of this eight of swords energy. And I feel as if they're applying patience, um, patience to perhaps understand what choices to make or maybe there's been some misunderstanding miscommunication and some truth needs to happen in order to 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 clear that out but i feel as though there is celebration um coming towards the two of you this week it might not be this weekend but i feel that you're being encouraged to celebrate this connection because even though you may both be at a crossroads i feel as though the uh, the alley of Aphrodite is around you. This is a true romantic love, but there might be some sort of um, miscommunication or understanding that they're being patient to know which direction to take to clear it up. Or it simply could be that this person that you're connecting with is undecided as to what what choices what options they've got in front of in front of them in order to to to, to guide them as to which road to take to towards you which i feel is this queen of swords energy male or female it doesn't matter i feel as though this person sees you as somebody that has a, a responsible job somebody that's quite decisive if you notice her sword is up so they may see you as protecting your heart a little bit which is one of the reasons why they may be uncertain what choices perhaps you are making are you choosing them you know their energy is coming here on your side and i feel as though what you're doing is you see this person as your divine counterpart male or female it doesn't matter but you see them also as somebody is quite decisive um maybe a bit blunt um protecting their heart as, as well but you're waiting with that three of wands it's like you're waiting for them to take action towards you you're looking at um, your basket you're looking at the nurturing that you've put into this connection but it's like what are you doing like are we you know that pentacle on the floor there it's like you know is this am, am I losing this person perhaps waiting on them to make a decision um, as to what direction they're going to take towards you but I feel as though this weekend they've definitely got this creative flow that's going on um, they, as I said, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and I feel as though that creative flow is what is almost giving them a bit of clarity over what direction to take, what choices to, to make when it comes to you. OK, let's have a look at your advice. Thank you. We have connect. 
I create strong emotional connections with the important people in my life. Now, do you know what's really interesting about that? Um, I feel like I've got to take two. I feel as though you're being guided to connect with those people that are of that similar mindset, um, that soul tribe. And I feel as though um, you're being uh, guided to connect um, on that emotional level with the people that are important. So whoever this person is, I feel as though evidently they're important to you because you see them as your divine counterpart with the king and queen of swords coming up side by side. And I feel as though um, Aries, if you are not quite in union or in different locations, I mean, look, he's looking out or she is looking out at the water there, um, not knowing he's also looking out the water. It, it, it's like you're both kind of seeking uh, uh, clarity. Um, what way to go? You know, is Aries coming towards me? Am I going towards Aries? So you could be at a different location, but I feel as though Aries, you're being guided to connect with this person um, and celebrate in some shape, form or another. It almost feels as if you're being guided to go with the flow of this relationship and Oh, look at that. <laughs> and what comes out flow, absolutely go with the flow. I now open myself to inspiration and watch creativity flow through me. Absolutely. So I feel as though you're being guided 100% to go with the flow with this connection. Don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it. And again, connect with that creative side. Just allow Divine Spirit Universe to work in you, through you, to, to kind of just connect on that, that love, that love level without overthinking it, without expecting too much but just to love in spirit and in truth and to celebrate this connection because I feel as though this person is extremely important to you um I feel that it is a true romantic love um something that is authentic and genuine they're trying to apply patience I feel as though this person's trying to figure out um yeah are you the one so be patient yourself and just go with the flow with this Aries beautiful message um, for you, Aries. Okie dokie. So let's move on to our Leos. All right, Leos. So Leo, obviously you're popping up with our strength card and we have the Hierophant. Okay. And we have a bonus. Actually, they're saying to me to put it down here. We have a bonus card of the Knight of Cups. Okay, Leos, I definitely feel um, on, on the person that you are connecting to, either they are a fellow Leo, um, but I feel as though they see you as somebody that totally gets them, totally understands them. Uh, they also see you as somebody um, that they get, that they understand. It's as though this is reciprocated love. And that's the truth of the matter. Um, it's like this beauty and the beast kind of scenario. They may feel as if, you know, you can tame them or, you know, you they can tame you. And I don't mean that in a derogative way. It's as though you get them. So like, you know, Leo, when you roar, because when you do roar, it is the whole world will hear you. It's as though your person can calm that down and ground you and just kind of be like, it's okay, it's all fine, it's all good. And I feel as though you both see each other as marriage material for sure. Um, Leos, I feel as though you're moving away from something that didn't serve you perhaps in the past and you're moving towards, I feel celebration with the swords all down. There's a cycle that's definitely been closed and a cycle I feel that's new, that's, that's opening up and the path that you're going towards with this person, I feel as though it's karma waters. Um, whoever you're connecting to, I feel that this is their energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though they're coming towards you with this cup of love. And that's what you, I mean, you may have at one point moved away or rejected this love, but I feel as though you're going towards celebrating this connection because you see this person as marriage material. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you realise that that's the truth of the matter. That's that's all I'm getting with that. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. 
please can you clarify how does these soulmates of leo sun moon and rising and venus feel towards thank you wow look at that they're, they're very passionate towards you let's just move this down here they're very very passionate towards you and i feel quite victorious um around this uh, reciprocal emotion of love it's as though um that is the truth of the matter and that's why that kept coming up for me i feel as though this person may have been conflicted in the past but it's like the truth of the matter is you are that romantic love they have that passion they see you as marriage material my angels and spirit guides of thank you yep they're surrendering to this connection i just knew it i just just knew it it's like that's the truth of the matter that's what keeps coming up the truth of the matter is you are that romantic connection um they may have denied this or you may have uh walked away after perhaps they denied this connection and i feel as though that cycle's closed because those swords are down you're moving into calmer waters and with that knight of cups male or female totally spot on they're moving towards you with this this um this cup of love it almost feels as though aries this person has woken up to realizing actually uh my leo is pretty special that's what it feels like and look at that, the high priestess. I feel as though you have used your intuition um, to, to move towards celebration. I feel as though, Leo, you have, um, you're being quite forgiving. That's what it feels like. Um, using your intuition, knowing that this person is surrendering to this connection. Using your intuition, you know that this person is somebody pretty special um surrendering seeing them as um marriage material and i feel with this knight of pentacles uh the leos that i'm speaking to male or female i feel as though you're quite solid um i feel as if you're quite solid quite grounded and you are moving towards them with a solid offer um look at that they're coming towards you with this cup of love you're going towards them with a solid offer um stability so even though we've got the back turned towards the hyphen um this person uh may have or you may have expressed marriage or long-term commitment and they perhaps were conflicted and i feel as though you may have moved away from that now you're moving towards celebrating this connection with this person and look at this night moving towards them intuitively with this solid offer something solid you're you're solid leos and then look at that the two of pentacles yeah i i feel as though it may have unbalanced you for a hot minute um whatever happened between the two of you just know they're surrendering to this connection this internal conflict i feel has moved on they've they've used every bit of strength and courage to move on from that the truth of the matter is they they feel victorious with you, passionate towards you and sees you as marriage material, long term commitment. And it almost feels as if by faith um, they know with this high high priestess um, that you um, you're intuitive. It's like they feel as though perhaps you're supposed to be in their life. Yeah. And let's just clarify your bonus card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify oh 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 okay so we have the eight of wands wow look at that i did what did look leo's this person uh not see or not only sees you as marriage material that's the truth of the matter but as they come towards you they're coming in with communication offering a uh, long-term commitment marriage <laughs> like i said right at the beginning leo's someone may be popping the question to you this weekend and with that eight of cups i feel as though they're moving away from whatever whatever unsettled this connection that created that six of swords that you are now moving into choppy waters they're moving away from that saying goodbye to that it's like the truth of the matter is my leo is my romantic love you're moving towards celebrating and i feel as though this creative energy it's like this person is now just going to go with the flow with this connection with the hierophant coming up here you could be dealing with somebody that's got taurus as well in their chart um Obviously, we've got Leo and Taurus popping up. Either you or them have Leo or Taurus. Let's continue. 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice message for the collective of leo sun moon thank you all right so we have guidance my dreams give me inspiration and guidance and i feel as though um leos with that high priestess there i feel as though you i feel as though you intuitively know that this or knew that this person is marriage material somebody that is supposed to be in your life and i feel as though you've been guided to them just as they have been guided to you and i feel as though as you move away from uh choppy choppy waters with this person they're moving away from it so are you um going towards calmer waters and celebrating and then we've got ask for help and it says i am willing to receive help from the universe when whenever and however it happens and you know what i feel as though that's really talking to this six of swords it's as though by faith you have trusted that this person would wake up and smell the coffee and have that aha moment um and that's the truth of the matter it's as though you have been very authentic genuine um you have nothing but love for this person and i feel as though they get it now i feel at once upon a time they may have been conflicted um, they may have turned away from uh, uh, long term commitment, marriage, even the discussion of it. Um, and it, you may have pulled back your energy a little bit, but that's over now. You're moving into celebrating, um, being guided to know that, yeah, th this person was going to surrender to this connection. And I feel as though, Leos, those of you that are into meditation, because that winged messenger coming in, it's as if you just released it all to um, spirit, divine, universe, your higher self to guide you, to assist you, to support you, to wake this person up. And I feel as though that's exactly what's happened for you. Wow. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Let's see what's going on with our beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius now. Okay, let's just shift you to one side. Okay, Sagis. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups, Temperance and the Tower. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel as though your person is walking away. Um, oh, okay, they, they, they might be walking away from this connection. Um, you are both applying patience. You could be dealing with somebody that's got Sagittarius in their chart, or you may have Sagittarius. But I feel as though there's been some sort of tower moment. There's been some sort of drama, um, Sagittarius. Um, and I feel as though this person is being illuminated to walk away from it. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. Thank you. Okay, so they're coming towards you I feel with this energy of the Knight of Swords and the Emperor, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as if they're walking away from di what didn't serve this connection that created a per perhaps a tower moment. Um, and I feel as if they're coming in to speak truth quite strongly. I feel as though they're taking um, charge to come towards you, taking that action to come towards you. Um, whereas you've probably been a bit patient, they've perhaps been a bit patient perhaps to think about the truth of the matter that created this um, tower moment. But there's celebration here. So, and if you notice in this particular deck, even though that, that lightning is coming down, if you notice in this particular deck, the, the, the tower isn't actually obliterated. It's still standing. So I feel as though this relationship is still standing in some shape, form or another. Yeah. I feel as though this person feels victorious with that six of wands, feeling victorious after being patient, um, perhaps wanting to speak the truth around that you are um, their uh, romantic love. Maybe they denied it. Thank you. And I feel as though, yeah, on, on your side, I feel as though you were manifesting. It's like something kicked off between the two of you. It created a bit of a tower moment. They're walking away from that, coming towards 
or they they may have been walking away from speaking truth to you but i feel as if they're taking strong action towards you now because they see you as the one for them holding that um sixth wand victorious it's like they also have woken up to the truth of the matter that you are the one for them you have both applied patience through this um, process. I feel as though, Leos, you've been manifesting. You may have been manifesting a new beginning after this tower moment, fighting for this connection with the uh, Seven of Wands. Okay, one more card, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you clarify how does the soulmates of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love weekends commencing friday the 12th of february through to thank you oh look at that page of cups yeah i feel as though you're fighting with this connection um and you may have walked away you may have pulled back your your energy of love um messages of love when this tower moment came in and i feel as though you want to fight for this connection um, wishing, hoping, praying, being really, really patient, this person comes around, and I feel as if they are, and the key thing is this emperor, and the six of wands, they're coming towards you extremely victorious, it's as though whatever they walked away, it's been illuminated, and it's like by faith, they are following that path, the true path that they're supposed to be walking towards. And I feel as though it's towards you. Something definitely happened. Um, but that foundation is still strong, um, Sagittarius. Um, and whatever you are fighting for this connection, I, I feel as though you are now going to be celebrating for absolute sure. It's like the truth of this connection is really fully coming out. You also could be dealing with somebody that's got Aries in their chart, um, Sagittarius. Um uh, and obviously your energy is popping in, so it does feel as though you're the one that's been predominantly quite patient. They also could have Sagittarius in their chart as well. Okay, let's have a look at your advice messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice to the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Love? Thank you. First message is act. Upon waking, I'm ready to act on my passions and dreams. Absolutely. That's you. I feel fighting for this connection. You may have pulled back um, messages of love and emotion. And I feel as though <coughs> it's like you were waiting patiently for this tower moment to calm down. And in the interim, it's as though you are wishing, praying, manifesting that this person will come around. And I feel as though they 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 will. Um, and it's now is the time to act. It's like it's now time for you guys to come together. And then we have support. I surround myself with those who support my vision and share my values. Um, yeah, whatever happened uh, with you and your person that... Um, they either denied or they rejected. They didn't speak truth. Um, I feel as if they are coming in now to speak truth. And I feel as though as you have been manifesting, fighting for this connection, I genuinely feel as though you have, uh, you've connected, you've connected with your spirit team, you know, as you're in that position of praying, manifesting, imagining um, for this tower moment to just be behind you and I feel as though this weekend you are going to act the support around your spirit team um your spirit team I should say is supporting you and 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 guiding you through this process but you also may have reached out to friends family confidants um that have also been supporting you whilst you've been patiently waiting for whatever tower moment happens with you and this person to calm down okay Fire signs, I think I'm going to leave that there. If these messages resonated with you, please feel free to click that thumbs button, thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push this video out to other fire signs out there. Um, those of you that haven't subscribed, um, if you would like to know when I'm uploading the weekend messages, the weeklies, the monthlies, please feel free to click that subscription button so that you get those notifications. Um, also, 
any other information um, that you may want, check out the description box below. Um, I've got a link there for the yearly playlist. And also, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, um, all that good stuff, details are down there below. Until next um, weekend, next week, next month, uh, Fire Signs, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye.